years I've been trying to lift my uh, mower deck and it's very, uh, it's not easy to lift. Let me show you how I do it. So I use the quick attach and I didn't buy it for that purpose, but it's got a big hook here that goes in the middle and that's where I put the chain. And before then I was hooking stuff on to this anti-scalping wheel and on to the back leveling pins, all kinds of stuff. And it really just, I never liked it. And then tonight when I was thinking about picking it up, I couldn't find the uh, hardware that I used before. And I was like, man, if I had a, uh, uh, a bolt with an eye on the end, I could just hook one to those eyes and pick it up. It was that simple. So here's what you need. You need a four foot piece of chain. This ain't four foot, but it's for demonstration purposes. You're going to need either two clevises or two of these things or two carabiners, the real good ones, not the cheap ones. So here's how, you know, you put that in there and screw that down. You want to screw it down the whole way so you get the full thread contact interlocking. And then, of course, before you screw that shut, you would, before you screw it up, you would run these clevises through the uh, eye of your bolt and just run the bolt through one of these holes. So how do you determine the, hole, the size of the hole? So if you don't know, if you don't have a device to measure, such as Dow calipers. Calipers would tell you there's also a pin through those holes. So you can measure the size of the pin and it'll tell you right there five sixteenths of an inch. That's on a Kubota BX. Or what I use is I have a drill a set of drills that are um, marked how what size drill bit goes in each position. Real expensive set I got back from uh, Harbor Freight back in the uh, year around 2000 I believe. So demonstration purposes only. You know I got the 3 8 inch drill bit here. Oh it won't go in that hole. And I just happen to have a 5 16th inch drill bit and it goes through the hole. It's a real fast down and dirty way to measure the diameter of any hole. So with all that being said, here's how I did it. Put the eye bolt in here, one on each side. Hook this uh, mounting screw type thing here. Another thing that would work is a carabiner. I've got um, some, but I couldn't locate them tonight. So anyhow, my four foot length of chain and uh, hooked into the eye bolts. And it's great. It's the best one I've had so far. Now you might need a longer length of four than four foot chain if you're using like bolt on hooks onto your uh, bucket. Um, whatever would work for your situation, just get your tape measure out, figure out what you want to go with and go from there. Of course, be careful when you got the, uh, anything up on the loader and you're working under and around the loader, be careful because it could fall, um, unexpectedly with no warning. But I think I like this idea. I could actually let these bolts in here all the time and they wouldn't get in the way. So, um. I might, it's, this eye bolt's a little long, I might cut it off and put a lock washer on there. But I like it. I think it's a great solution for, I wish I'd have thought of it 10 years ago and uh, would have been so much better. So with that being said, it's that time again, friends. Time to smash that like button, share this video with a friend, hit subscribe if you haven't already and make a comment down below telling me how you do your mower deck and lift it up and do maintenance on it. 
with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. Cheers.